If you want to work in the environment, you don't have 35k laying around, or you're just a student that's looking for summer work or something to do while you're in school, this is the right place for you. This is part two of the federal jobs with no degree videos. Of course, getting a degree opens up more and more doors when it comes to getting more and more environmental science jobs. However, when I was in college, I was pretty broke, and this is a list of jobs that I wish I knew about back in school and I could have made better financial decisions. To help people out with navigating USA jobs, which can be a pickle sometimes, I'm gonna lay the jobs out by series, which is how you're gonna find them when you go on USA jobs. And hopefully this will make the job search a little bit easier for you, as well as I will link the resources that I use in this video down in the description. Welcome to Ecology Story Mode, the channel where I don't just talk about environmental science, I try to help you get involved. First series that I wanna go over is Biological Science Technician, or 0404 as you're gonna see it named on USA Jobs. And there's gonna be a ton of names and way more than what I go over here because there's a lot of diversity here. However, these are three of the coolest and probably most common positions that you'll see there. First one is Biological Science Technician with plants. Here, you're either gonna work directly under a botanist or you're gonna work under some sort of resource specialist like a conservationist or a riparian specialist. In this job, you're gonna to get to work on restoration projects and doing stuff like helping out with creating pollinator habitat, doing invasive weeds removal. Depending on where you are, this is gonna be probably one of the biggest parts of the job. That's anything from depending where you are, working with herbicide application to mechanical removal, so just going out with hand tools. Or in my opinion, if you're lucky, you get a red card and you get to do some prescribed burning as well as just doing native and invasive plant monitoring and setting up plots. The second kind of bio sci technician is gonna be fish and wildlife. Here in a lot of places, it's gonna be more about monitoring habitat, helping create habitat in places like streams for fish, as well as depending on where you are and what your strengths are, you might get to do fish counts and bird surveys. And the third job that I wanna put in is gonna be nursery slash seed house technicians. I wanna throw this in because not only can you find this job in national forests with the Forest Service, but you can also find it with the Bureau of Land Management. The USDA has some of these at universities. So these are really all over the place. Essentially the job's really simple though. You're gonna be a very entry level botanist. You're gonna help take care of plants, identify issues with plants. And depending on where you work and what kind of job you find, you might be able to help out with the restoration. Now the second series that I wanna go over is forestry technician, which is 0462. And now most of these job postings are gonna be with the Forest Service and that's gonna be the biggest employer for all these. However, you can also find jobs in the Bureau of Land Management, the National Park Service, and just about every land management agency in this job series. A nice added perk of this is there's almost always gonna be the option to get your red card, which means you can work on wildland fires, help out in whatever capacity and get extra pay that way. First one I'm gonna go over is all fire, well, mostly all fire, and that is fuels technician. This job is essentially just wildland firefighting, except instead of doing it on wildfires, you're gonna be doing it on prescribed burns. Pretty much all of the trainings you get and all of the experience that you get is gonna be exactly the same as if you were a wildland firefighter. In this job, you get to work on forest restoration, any fuels management, and sometimes you just get to help out with community safety and resource safety. But yeah, this is the perfect job if you're somebody that likes the idea of fire, wants to do prescribed burns in forest restoration, and there's definitely no shortage when it comes to these jobs. The second job is gonna be forestry technician recreation, and essentially in a lot of places, the people that maintain trails and do a lot of the recreation site safety, cleaning, all of that, are gonna be people that are forestry technicians. The way that this job is on the science side is that you have to look for sustainable trail building, sustainable practices with how you make recreational resources. Recreations and trails are essentially a way that we take all of the public land use impact from people visiting public land and centralize it to smaller areas. So if you love being outdoors and you love hiking and you also wanna get involved in forestry and science, this is a really good way to go. And the third one is gonna be resources. Resources will have you doing anything from forestry inventory to cruising around forest lands and doing stuff to prepare for timber harvests. 
as well as you can also just be a person that helps out with forest restoration depending on where you're at. I know that jobless videos aren't just a magic bullet that's gonna help everything. If you want some other resources, I've made hiring pathway videos. This is a slightly new format. Let me know how you like it. If you're somebody that has other job suggestions, drop a comment down below. Like this video and share it if you think you know somebody that could use something like this because I'm now learning that that's really what helps these videos get out there. Let me know if you want more. Subscribe if you like content like this and have a nice day.